All right, so we're trying to determine whether or not this graph represents a function. So if you recall back to what we talked about, um, what it means to be a function, that means that for every input, every x value, we should only get one output. Uh, and we looked at how to do that algebraically, but how would we do that if we're given a graph? Well, if we are given a graph something like this, we can actually use a special test to determine whether or not a graph is a function. And that test is called the vertical line test. Because if we draw a vertical line through our graph, and it intersects more than a single point at any time during our graph, even if it just happens once, we must say that that graph is not a function. So if I can take this line and move it along my graph and it will ever intersect more than one green point at any given time, it will not be a function. So, so far we've been good, but you can see that when we get to here at x equals two, our graph intersects two points on this, uh, the red line intersects two points on our graph. So we have to say that this is not a function. So this is not a function, not a function, right? Because we have that x, uh, when x is equal to two, it maps to y equaling three, and it also maps to y equaling five. So if we were writing this as ordered pairs, we'd have actually two ordered pairs from x equaling two, two comma three and two comma five, which we're not allowed to have in order for some graph to be a function. All right, so let's take a look at another one. So if we just rearrange some of these dots, so it's a similar graph, but we just took a couple of the points and rearranged them. Um, has that helped make this a function? Well, let's take a look. So let's draw another vertical line through our graph. So here we have a vertical line and we're gonna use the vertical line test to determine is this graph a function? So here we have this. We're going to take this red line and we're gonna drag it across our entire function and see if it ever intersects more than a single point at any given time. So here it's just one, again, just one, 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 one. It doesn't look like it ever is going to intersect more than a single point at any given time. So this, we can say, is a function. So this is a function. 